Hey guys, we're back. Um, we have been absent for a couple months. It's because we have an announcement and we're pregnant. Number two. Yeah, number two. Uh, it is about, we're about 14, Four, weeks, 14 weeks and I just hit my second trimester on Monday mm -hmm. and it's Wednesday right now. So, and the baby is uh, the size of a lemon. So it's growing pretty fast. We're excited. Um, how I'm feeling right now, I am tired all the time and I'm nauseous all the time. I can't even open our refrigerator because no, I have to get everything out for the, her. the smell makes yeah. me nauseous. Yes. So I have a I'm hard time nauseous. cooking. I have a hard time even warming anything yeah. up for even, James. Even the freezer for some reason yeah, makes I her can't. nauseous. And that, you know, not, you know, a fridge you can smell more, I would think, food. Freezer, everything's frozen. But I know, that's but still just even thinking about opening it up makes me right. sick. Right. And I cannot, the one thing that makes me like extremely nauseous is chicken. Mm -hmm. I, I couldn't even think about chicken mm -hmm. until recently. I'm just now starting like trying it. Like tonight can, I had some. Uh, yeah, you can eat it maybe, but you can't be around it before I don't, it's cooked. I didn't Definitely. really want, even want to eat it until mm -hmm. like. And even the smell of it still makes you. Yes, but it can't have like the chicken flavor. I know that weird like it has to be like marinated in something mm -hmm. and then like grilled you don't want plain chicken basically oh just thinking about it right yeah. now it's making me want to gag but um no i, I listen, the cravings i have pickles i do want pickles, pickles not so much ice cream i mean i'm not going to turn down ice cream i really like <laughs> chocolate shakes but you're not really craving I'm trying no. to think of your i mean pickles is the biggest thing you really wanted but i'm not really craving much like I like cheese hamburgers sometimes but not all the time like i had a hamburger the other day and it kind of made me sick you made, you made cheese quesadillas the other day i know you like cheese that was good i don't know if you were craving that i think maybe yeah i think it kind of was and uh, i was at peanut butter at the beginning too that was kind of making me yeah you had a craving lot, you did have a lot of peanut butter at the very beginning and, and fruit your pickles yeah but now yeah, we'll see when you the eat next a lot of pasta weeks, but, yeah, I was going to say, besides the pickles, the last big thing that you really just wanted to eat. Is it so easy? So we'll see. Yeah. But, yeah, I don't really want to eat anything. But, yeah, so. Yeah. So, how are you feeling? How are you feeling? Well, for me, fine. I'm not the one pregnant. So. I know, but are you excited? <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely excited. Looking forward to it now. We do know the gender, but we are not announcing mm -hmm. it, so you need to stay tuned and watch for another video because we're going to do something over that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm excited. Just just like last time. I think this time, I guess, is a little different, you know, because first time maybe knowing what to expect more and having the, a baby this time, I can kind of, it kind of feels a little different. Like the first baby, I didn't really... Like obviously I was excited, but until baby got here, I wasn't almost yeah. like normal. It was, I guess for me, life until he got here was just normal for me. You were the one pregnant walking around, but I, for me, it hadn't changed yet. Like, I know what you're saying until, you know, yeah. So he, for you, it obviously changed. You were everything for you had changed because you were, you know, feeling until everything, James you know. came out and put his little yeah. finger around or put his fingers around Jane, yeah. David's finger right after mm -hmm. he was born, then you said, oh, I felt like a father, and yeah. you're excited. Yeah, and this one, I still feel, I guess, more this time around, but still waiting. Like, I know it'll be more once baby gets here. Like, this time around, it's just, okay, I, I feel more, because now I know, you know, having one child, but and still waiting like i know what to feel even more for you obviously you're already in father mode a little bit yeah you showed in more mode. interest in me this time or the yeah. baby this time than you did with james yeah i guess i did a little bit more this time maybe because i know what to expect and everything <laughs> but but this pregnancy is like completely different than my last pregnancy with james i was nauseous. i was never nauseous i think mm -hmm. i Want. I got sick once. It's because I had yeah. extra creamy whipped cream. Oh yeah, we were eating fruit and 
We've always eaten fruit, and we she's had she had a whipped cream, but I, I guess this time around I bought the, the extra cream. It was like yeah, extra cream, and she did it. She actually threw up. <laughs> yeah, I got sick, and uh, the, like I think other only like two other times that I ever yeah. get like nauseous. Not, so I thought this time around dairy would do that to you. So far it hasn't. But not but, yet, but I haven't had yeah. extra cream. This time it's just chicken that's causing you to make throw up. So yeah, you don't have to keep mentioning. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, but um, yeah. but no, I'm nauseous pretty much every day all day long and I get tired real easily easily like mm -hmm. today I couldn't even keep my eyes open around about yeah, five ish I, no 4 30 I started I was like oh my gosh I'm not gonna make it through the yeah she's today. more she's more drained this time around than she was last time like I still think the pregnancy hit you as soon as I found out like... I was pregnant I was exhausted and nauseous well yeah well I mean once you were you know started Obviously, the first couple of weeks until you you really, you know, technically you're pregnant, but you don't know it yet. But yeah, once you, you hit that time frame, yeah, you you've been nauseated since then. Yep. Really, so we'll see. She may be nauseated the entire pregnancy. I hope not. <laughs> so but uh, yeah, to eat some plenty of protein. Yes, yeah, so I'm trying to eat a lot of protein, mm -hmm. and with James, I mean, I got tired, you know occasionally and I took a nap here and there but mm -hmm. I don't know if it's because I have a toddler now and I have to keep up with him and take care of him but I don't maybe that has a little uh, do with it it but could I, be a little but I think just obviously that's going to tire you out taking care of James but I also think this time you're just more drained before you even do anything like just kind of standing making breakfast making lunch if you have to cook and stuff it kind of tires you out I don't even just more cook. than you normally do like you know? I, when I'm cleaning around the house I can do like just a little at a time mm -hmm. right so we take and then I get have to get take a yeah. break at to sit down even like I, I can do the dishes and then I'm like okay mm -hmm. I do a laundry I have to take a break so so yeah now she just kind of does it in little spurts she'll do a little here a little there which is fine but you know you have to do what you have to do so yeah I think that's yeah. all we got this yeah. time around. Do you have anything else? No. Thank you. All right. And so stay tuned after this because I'm going to show uh, us. Doing more soon. Well, it's going to show the, us announcing it mm -hmm. to our. To be posting some of Well, I'm going to do it right yeah. after this, like okay. at the end of this video. <laughs> I'm going to be posting us announcing it to our family. So um, I hope y'all want to go on the journey with us as I grow and until the baby gets here mm -hmm. okay see y'all next time thank you bye. bye hi guys week 15 here of my pregnancy and it's going well the doctor said that my belly has officially popped so that's exciting and some little fun facts about the baby it that it, it is the size of an orange so that's a little fun fact also the baby can perceive light now supposedly if you uh, flash a light to your stomach the baby will either move away from it or turn its head from it so that's a pretty fun fact also um, for me I'm still a little bit nauseous um, uh, my gag reflex is on like high <laughs> like especially when I open the refrigerator I don't know if it's a smell or what but it just makes me gag and, and I just want to you know and also sometimes when I am brushing my teeth the reflex is can get to me and I gag then also you know this pregnancy is still completely different from the pregnancy I had with James again like I've mentioned before it I only got sick once and this time I'm like I feel like I'm always sick and so yeah so completely different pregnancy my I still have my wedding ring on which is actually completely different from when I was pregnant with James too when I was pregnant with him by the time I told my family that I was pregnant I had to take it off right afterwards and this time around I feel it, feel, it still feels pretty loose so I'm pretty excited about that and some other things that people usually say on these things is that if their belly button has popped or not. And mine never did with James and it still has it and I, I doubt it will. 
So I guess that's about it. This is a short and sweet little update on my 15 week. I'm actually at the end of the 15 week. I didn't do it at the beginning. But I still wanted to get on here and show uh, or tell y'all about my 15th week. I am probably going to, as you can see, I'm adding this to the end of my 14th week. And I'll probably, after this, even add my 16th week. So they'll all be together. And hopefully from here on out, I'll be able to have it scheduled on the right week. So it's just tough being a mom of a toddler and pregnant. You're always tired <laughs> and you always have something to do. But yeah, that's, that's my plan and I'm sticking to it. All right. See y'all next week. Bye. Hi guys. I am 16 weeks today and I'm feeling about the same as I did last week. Still nauseous and tired especially nauseous when I open up the refrigerator. Weirdest thing ever, I know. <laughs> yeah, no, that's funny, huh, buddy? James wanted to be in the video today, so that's what we're doing. And the baby is the size of an avocado this week. Yes. It's, I don't, I feel like it's a, maybe a little bit taller than the orange of last week, but. I bet the orange is doing last week. Yeah, but I feel like it's kind of the same. <clears throat> The baby has also is doing like a big gross spurt this week. It's developing its taste buds, its hair follicles, its eyelashes, its eyebrows, its inner ear bones. So that means that the, ear bones. Yeah. The ear bones. Yes, the ear bones. That means that the baby might be able to hear my voice now, which is really neat. Because I sing a lot of nighttime songs to James at night. And I'm hoping maybe that will mean when I'm putting the baby to sleep that I'll remember those songs and hear it. And it'll be easier to put the baby down. I did buy some of those earbud things that you stick on your stomach and talk into it with James when he was a baby. And I played a lot of classical music. And I felt like that helped a lot. Um, he now has to listen to music when he goes to sleep. It's funny because we bought the... Metallica oh, wow. classical music and he like that's the only thing he wants to listen to he doesn't want to listen to anything else which that's all he'll listen to now but like I didn't play that when he was pregnant when I was pregnant um, with James but I mean it's still classical music but he didn't really listen to other class classical music which is kind of fun funny but hey whatever it works right I need to it huh I need to it um, I have gained weight. I, I ultimately just wanted to, James, ultimately just wanted to gain like 15 pounds this pregnancy because I didn't want to gain any more than that because I wasn't happy where I started with. Mommy, what's he doing? I'm making a video and talking to our friends. You look like a hot mess. Anyway, um... But I, I'm pretty sure that I'm getting close to that already in only 16 weeks. But I mean, I lost I, I lost most of my weight really quick with James right afterwards. So hopefully that'll be the case with this one. Um, I'm starting to wear maternity clothes. I just so far have just bought clothes or I haven't bought any new clothes. I'm just wearing the ones I had from when I was pregnant with James. B well, besides one shirt from Target, but I haven't even worn that one yet. I got to go to Target. You wanna go to Target? He loves Target. <laughs> He's definitely his mom and mom's son and his grandmother's grandson. We love yeah, Target. Grandson. Sleeping. Um, I'm sleeping okay. I wake up. Because, of course, I had to go to the restroom a lot. Um, and then also, I, 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 I have to turn. Like, I, I sleep on, you're supposed to sleep on your left side when you're pregnant. And I, my, when it starts getting uncomfortable, I will flip over to my right side. And that wakes me up. And I do that several times a night. All I want to do is sleep. Bye. All I want to do is sleep on my back. And you can. You're not supposed to do that uh, after yeah. that issue. I don't want to have, uh, you're not supposed to do that. James, you yeah. are a hot mess. Um, after you hit your second trimester, because 
uh, circulation and everything. Um, avocado. Yeah, it's avocado. And, um, but that's really all I want to do. So, but I try not to. Um, this is green. I'm still avocado. wearing my wedding ring. This is green. Hasn't taken green, it off green. yet. It's green. It's still, I still feel like I have it's some green. Green, mommy's green. It is green, baby. Good job. Um, my best moment this week is that we went to a local store here and bought the baby some a lot of clothes. Um, I've, I've already bought the baby some clothes beforehand. I already bought some baby that beforehand, but this time I had a really big shopping spree. Um, it, it was, everything was on sale, and it was also yes, you went with me, didn't you? Um, Everything was on sale. It's tax-free weekend, so I had like a cart full of of all these baby clothes, and I wanted to buy them all, but David didn't let me. But that, which was probably a good deal, but good thing because the, we had I had a lot of clothes in there. Um, a low moment this week, kind of embarrassing, but hey, it happens. Open refrigerator because I was getting stuff out to make myself breakfast, and I started gagging and threw up in my hands and peed on the floor. What are you going to do? It happens. Well, <laughs> it <happens. laughs> I don't know if it happens to everybody, but it happened to me. <laughs> Embarrassing, but hey, it's pregnancy. Food cravings. Um, kind of like and I've been shopping. I was really wanting sausage, so we're having a sausage meal this week and meatballs. 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 Um, I got a couple meatballs. frozen meals that are meatballs. Um, food, the versions, like, still chicken. I still really don't want chicken, but I feel like I'm going to try to cook it maybe next week. We'll see. Just because it's healthy for you, and I haven't been eating the healthiest because healthy stuff just doesn't sound good to me. Um, but also, there's still two frozen meals in the... Uh, freezer that still as I'm talking about it's There's making me nauseous and I still don't want to make those what is that? but that's about it on food um my <clears throat> belly button's still in hasn't popped um what I miss what I guess I what I miss is? is being open being able to open the refrigerator and not gag I think David misses that too because I always make him go and get stuff out of the refrigerator. Go, 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 go. What I look forward to, I think what I most look forward to is after the baby's born, seeing this one come in and seeing the baby for the first time. I think that would be, or that's what I'm looking forward to the most. Um, I think it's just going to be the sweetest thing in the world. So that wraps up this video. Um, I hope you learned a little something more and then you enjoyed it. If you like it, please subscribe and push that thumbs up. And we, thumbs, up. thumbs up. And hit that bell for you'll know when I do more videos. New more videos. All right. See y'all next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Hi, Mom. I don't like to tell you, but you're so eager to tell. Oh, you just found out we're pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you wanted me to come. Yeah. I had a family. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, we were going to wait and see it, but we're going over to Joe and Liam's, and I don't know how, and I haven't been feeling real good. Wait he gets into everything. Okay, wait for mom. Wait for, wait for mom. I did plug up all the outlets. Mommy. James, we can way? we can color in a minute. Um, we were gonna tell y'all Father's Day, but we'll be expecting. <laughs> I wonder because you're not drinking enough. Yeah. She told me, and whenever I told you about that, oh my water off. Have you told your parents? <laughs> I told them earlier. Yeah. That's why, oh, that's why we were late. You tell them what I told you earlier today. That's why y'all were delayed. Yeah. I'm still, I mean, you actually just been ovulate late, you know. Even 31, it still shouldn't be that long. No. No. So you've skipped before, like delayed by a week or something? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is that clear with the straps? Yeah? Just yeah. Try. Try. <laughs> I'm recycling for you. Okay.
anything not good for you? It can't be good for you. Okay. Right. So remember that. And then um, that way we can keep an eye on it. And uh, I always tell patients I'd rather treat you for stress, you know, or at least I'll treat counseling. That's helpful. Beautiful. Congratulations. Thank you. Love that sound. Mm -hmm. That's what she wanted to hear. Yeah. Mm -hmm.